iPhone 4S, the most amazing iPhone ever. The iPhone 4S keeps breaking records. Rumors about the iPhone 5 have already begun, and problems with Siri and your security become an issue. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everybody, I'm Jaime Rivera and welcome to the Pocket Now iReview, the show we go through all this week's cool and the not so cool inside the world of Apple's iOS devices. Let's start this week off with the cool. If you had any doubts on how good the iPhone 4S would sell, think again. Apple sold 4 million iPhone 4S's in just 3 days in comparison to the 1.7 million units they sold of the iPhone 4 in the same 3 days. Now remember back then it was only AT&T and now you get Verizon and Sprint in the mix. Many consider a lot of the features of the device to be underpowered in comparison to the competition but it does seem like the market is showing us that specs aren't really the big thing for them in comparison to looks and functionality aside from the experience so sales have even ended in reservations only on under low stock and even weeks for you to get the device and well pre-orders have already begun in 22 more countries so make sure you pick yours up while supplies last. Apple has recently aired a new Siri commercial that tries to show you just how useful Siri can be. The question is, do you really use Siri or not? Is it really worth it or not? Well, Brandon recently spent some time talking to Siri, if that's even possible, and he recorded his thoughts on what he thinks of the platform and where it should go. So far, Siri's good, but it could be so much better with just a couple of tweaks. If it's for you or not, it's really highly dependent on your busy lifestyle and how much time you spend doing tasks and how how many things your phone should be able to do for you instead of you having to you do it on your phone. Watch Brandon's video to see if it really meets your needs or not because again it has a lot to do with the fact that well phones should be smart enough if they are called smartphones to do things for you instead of you having to do it for them. Aside from that make sure you watch our pocket now face offs in comparison with the iPhone 4s and the Droid Bionic and also the Samsung Galaxy S2. All really good videos to show you if one device is worth it or not. In comparison comparison to the other. Now what about the iPhone 5? Yeah, you heard it. The rumors have begun. According to certain reports, Steve Jobs spent his last days living working on Apple's next iPhone, and his involvement on the iPhone 4S was really minimal. Rumors have it that Apple does plan to release an iPhone 5 next summer at WWDC, and well, does it make sense or not? Well, just think about it. I mean, Apple released the iPhone 4 on Verizon in February, and just a couple of months later, we get the iPhone 4S, so it does make, it does make sense. So let's just keep the speculation up, and well, let's just hope for the dramatic redesign coming up next and hopefully some LTE love when people are going crazy for it and when carriers are just evolving to it. As we get close to the not so cool section, let's talk a little about Steve Jobs. His biography is scheduled to air on Monday, October 24th, and already everyone is talking about certain excerpts and comments that have been pulled from his bio. Some parts of it have the true idea of what it was like for a guy like Steve Jobs to be building these new products and just how exciting these product launches were. But on the other side, well, we also have his honest opinion on what we could expect from competition. And one of the points, for example, was the fact that Steve said that he was going to destroy Android because it was a copy product. And well, if you remember Android and what it was before the iPhone was released, you remember that video with Sergey Brin coming up from Google and talking about Android, you saw a non-touch device that they were trying to build. And eventually we see the iPhone come to town and then Google delaying Android's product launch because they were working on more things and you end up with something that looks a lot like the iPhone. So Steve could be right in the fact that some products were copied and some things were copied from iOS but then again a lot of the things that Android brought to the table were different so there's a lot of really interesting stuff coming up from this bio and you can bet a lot of us have already pre-ordered it so just make sure you watch our recent tribute to Steve Jobs if you didn't catch it recently and well a lot of things are history already but again this just gives you a perspective on how things were on Steve's mind and how we could expect Apple to react to competition in the future because ice cream sandwich is looking very interesting. 
That does it for the cool. Let's continue on with the not so cool. As much as many naysayers consider Siri to be overrated, we call it to be a hit because it's the only feature that actually sells the iPhone 4S if you compare it to the iPhone 4. There are a lot of specs bumps, but still Siri is really the breakthrough here. And now, well, you can see that the iPhone 4S is selling a lot better than the iPhone 4. Now, the problem is when you match security issues with Siri because recently it was discovered that if you have a, num if you have an, a locked iPhone, Siri can actually actually unlock your password and actually allow you to access the phone or at least access certain tasks like making phone calls. So it's not really locked, is it? Now, before you wait and hold your breath for Apple to fix that, just go into settings and go into the security portion of your settings and just disable the Siri reaction when your device is locked because it's actually a feature that you could turn off. A lot of people are making a lot of bundle over Siri doing this, but still, you can choose to turn it off if you want. So make sure you just turn it off if you consider it a problem for you. And is there an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5? The answer is no. The Dev Team's own Muscle Nerd recently tweeted about the fact that some people are selling a service called FastFrame, and according to FastFrame, it claims to jailbreak and bring you an untethered jailbreak to iOS 5. So far, first of all, the Dev Team never charges for their jailbreaks, and second of all, they have nothing to do with FastFrame. So remember to stay away from these scams. I've actually even been a victim of these scams in the past. So make sure you don't pay for this stuff, at least unless you buy it on eBay or something where you can actually have eBay buyer protection. So far, the dev team has not released any untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. Whenever they do, you make sure we'll find out and we'll tell you about it in our next video probably. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.